The thing that makes this mean shift tracking is essentially what the model is and how we compare them. So we've got this initial area that we want to track and we have to choose what the model is going to be. And in mean shift, what we do is we choose a feature space that is the quantized color space. So what that means is that we carve up the different uh, RGB values into a histogram. So it's written as a 1D histogram here, but it's typically a three-dimensional histogram, R, G, and B. You might carve R up into uh, four bins, G up into four bins, B up into, say, four bins. That'd be how many bins together? Four times four times four, one million ninety, no, 64. Okay, in which case you'd have a 64 bin histogram and every point within that region you take its color and you put it in the right bin and that would give you your probability histogram which you can think of as a PDF of the color over that region. That's the representation of the region that we're going to try to track. 